In addition to those school bonds, there are 14 state propositions on the ballot for this November election. One of those props deals with creating an exemption option on paying property taxes for child care facilities. Tyler Dupnik is with us tonight in studio. Tyler, how would that affect us here in West Texas, though? Yeah, Alex, it could help child care facilities simply stay open. Now, I spoke to a local daycare today about this proposition and what it means for our community. For the little ones in daycare classrooms, this is a big one at the ballot box. Now is more important than ever because our daycares are hurting and they're closing. Um, a lot of people can't keep staff. That reality for child care facilities has been a recent development. When COVID first hit, um, they realized that child care was the backbone of America, so they gave us a lot of funds. Um, it was a child care relief fund. Well, that fund has now ran out, and so a lot of daycares are closing as we see around our community. Closing in a community that is experiencing growth. Well, here in Midland, we average about 200 babies per month. And so they're realizing that it's a crisis. And even here in Midland, our, our um, median age is three. So it's, it's really hitting hard that we need the daycare. It's, that's not the school age, it's daycare. At Toya's Precious Jewels Academy, the passage of Prop 2 could impact multiple groups, says owner and director LaToya Mayberry. So right now, a lot of people are saying child care is expensive, but the reality is the annual salary for a child care worker is about 20000 So we don't get to pay our staff enough, but it's because of all the other things we have to pay. So um, what we do is we're tuition-based. We have to charge our families more. So any kind of tax break, um, I think we need to create a lot more of these, but any kind of tax breaks ultimately affects our parents because we funnel the money back to our employees, or that's what I would plan to do with the money. Getting this child care prop on the ballot took statewide analysis and efforts. So it's a lot of people just advocating for child care and saying, you know, if they all go out of business, where are our children going to go? Um, and so that's basically how this got on the ballot. It's just um, a bunch of those coalitions from all over basically giving that information and them taking it up there. With Election Day on the horizon, the future of child care is a big part of it. I think a lot of people don't realize that it's a matter of keeping some daycare centers open because um, they just need an extra $5,000, $6,000, and that's it right there. So. Now, Mayberry told me that this property tax break would save them about eight to $10,000 a year. She noted that no matter what happens tomorrow, the fight for child care support is moving in the right direction with plenty of work still to be done.